Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's very strange for you, it's been, you know, one day. If you're watching these as they come out, oh my god, that's a lot of HP. Abaddon and the negative, and then also Book of Secrets. So I guess we had Empty Vessel, or not Empty Vessel, Eden's Blessing last time. YTS3064Y, uh, a great start, you know, what can I say? Active item's a little weak, but apart from that, like, you're gonna look at a run like this and be like, oh, the active item's weak. We start with a, a nice damage upgrade from Abaddon, obviously like a ton of survivability. Rate of fire is a little low, and you know, the negative is largely useless, but uh, apart from that, real stoked. Um, not as stoked about Bad Trip, but we'll hold it regardless, I do think it's worth probably holding. Um, yeah, a, a, a good start. But what I was gonna say is that it's, it's well, a great start actually, even though I've lost uh, two Spirit Hearts already. Um, Pretty much outside of the bounds of my control. You would have done the same thing in that decision. You would have gone into that curse room and don't tell me you wouldn't have. But what I was going to say is it's weird because for you, you know, the day that Bison came to your village was the most important day of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. But actually, like, this is the first Isaac episode I've recorded in probably over a week. Um, if you didn't watch the channel update, Kate and I went to Portland. Played uh, some Magic the Ga ah, played some Magic the Gathering down there, and um, I, as always, whenever I go away, I'm like, okay, I want to make it appear that I'm not away. Like I want there to be uninterrupted videos. So I looked at my inventory, and as always, it's always like, okay, well, this game, um, I've got like two days of, of footage in the can that I can put up on YouTube. This game, I got like five days of footage, and then Isaac, I'm like, I've got 15 days of footage. So I haven't recorded Isaac for a while, um, basically out of necessity. But now I'm back, and I'm happy to be back. And I'm excited to hopefully not blow what appears to be like a really good run. I think I'll use a key for that. Yeah, okay. Ended up being probably a shrewd decision. This first floor could be very important. Kidney Stone is quite nice as well. We'll use one of our bombs to get in here. Inside of here, we get another bomb. So that was definitely a good trade. Like a trade I feel really excited about when you trade a little bit of your life away for... Uh, you know, absolutely nothing effectively, you know, we spent a little bit of the most precious resource of all, our limited amount of time on this God-given Earth, and then we got, um, baby, we got nothing, is basically the way that I would probably describe that. That time we got, you know, two bombs for a bomb and a key, so that's pretty exciting. The other thing that's weird is, like, for the last, like, four or five days, you know, I've been, like, talking to other human beings, You're like, hey, how's it going, how's your weekend, make conversation, we're normal. And then now I come home and I gotta, you know, talk to myself and it really changes things from, you know, like, polite discourse. Thought I might get hit there. From, like, polite discourse into just, like, utter absurdity. Like, instead of being like, how was your weekend, now I'm like, well, if the universe is truly infinite, how would we ever know that it's infinite? Because we'd never reach the end, and if we can't reach the end, how do we know it's not something that ends at some point? It might not be never-ending, you know? It's, man. These runes are making me thirsty, but they're also just like pretty bad. Um, we're gonna take the Algae's rune just for safety's sake. And we're gonna fight Monstro Monstrosity. And I'm, ay, I'm okay with that. I'm still okay with this. This has not been a good first floor. I don't even, I'm not gonna say that I'm shaking the rust off because I don't buy into the idea that, you know, this has been a historically terrible first floor. I think it's just been not uh, as, you know, cut and dry of a, of a huge success as I'd like it to be, but more than I need it to be because of the fact that our start is so dang solid here. Do you ever think about that? It's like if I said this bag of potato chips is never ending. If it's truly never ending, how can you know that it never ends? Because you will die or get sick of it at the very least before you reach. It could just be like a really big bag of potato chips, you know? How are you gonna say it's never ending? Functionally, perhaps, but literally, maybe not. That's what, I don't know, there's probably like some actual science in it. Many of you who watch these videos are, um, you know, more educated than I am and may be able to persuade me over to your line of reasoning. If I, if I, uh, allow you to. Because honestly, I think science is just like, it's a matter of opinion mostly. You know, you think the universe is never ending, I think it's on a turtle's back, you know, floating through... Uh, the endless vacuum of the ether, and, you know, I, I mostly believe, like, humans could probably teleport, you know, just most of the time, you're like, ah, I'm too tired. You know, I'm not tapping into my energies properly, etc., etc. Please, not a guppy dream there. Um, 
Oh, we could go buy a Spirit Hearts. That would take us to six. Six is five, basically. I know that sounds ridiculous, and because of what I've been saying so far, it probably sounds even more ridiculous. Like, everyone's like, is NL okay? But what I mean is for a deal with the devil purposes, uh, five means we can't take two deals with the devil unless one gives us HP. Six means we can't take two deals with the devil unless one gives us HP. So what would be ideal here is actually getting a red heart from Larry Jr., using that to fuel one deal with the devil, and then using three spirit hearts to fuel the other one. That's like, you know, victimless crime right there. But it requires, uh, first off, that we get a deal with the devil, which is basically mathematically more than certain. And, um, requires two deals with the devil, two, two items for sale, and it requires them to be, like, pretty good. So, we'll see. We got experimental treatment. No HP from it. I hope it's got a rate of fire increase, though. We got brimstone, and we got a little brimstone. Uh, I think you just take brimstone here. And as much as I was thinking, maybe we just, you know, go down to the next floor. Let's be smart, go to our shop, and possibly pick up, uh, yeah, this right here. And then maybe try to milk it just a little bit more. That's pretty good. We got nine cents. And I'll buy the key just to be safe, even though it does mean no arcade on the next floor. What do we care about an arcade? You know, we got, uh, freaking no HP here to play a blood bank with. So, yeah, it's a brimstone. You want to fight about it? It's a better item than little brim. And, uh, beyond that... It's my first run back, so I think I'm entitled to a little bit of, you know, safety for safety's sake, if that makes sense. Now, that was a pretty good deal with the Devil, Bob's Curse. Gives us five bombs that may very well be needed. Uh, we don't need to get a deal with the Devil on this floor. In fact, it would be better if we didn't, so we could get one on the next floor. Uh, range down is meaningless, and uh, also the Spirit Hearts. Probably the most important of all. Alright, pills have not been stellar so far, but... That's all right. It means I don't have to reference the Incubus song of the same name. It's like the... I, I just can't get excited about Book of Secrets, but at the same time, to just throw away an extra charge of it is bad. So let's do that. Get the charge, come back here, grab this, get the charge, and now we can see a little bit more. It's not quite as good as starting with, like, the Crystal Ball, but it's, it's also not bad. It's just kind of like... You're just like, oh... You know, sweet book of secrets. Every pill is is a fucking trash fire. Uh, unless we're gonna fight Hush, I don't think it's worth going back into that curse room to get the Algiz rune. And since Hush is so far away, you know we could get another one, or you know the run could change drastically by that point. So I don't really want to spend a spirit art to get an Algiz rune. There are situations in which that would be pretty good. There's also another pill in there, and you know who knows that pill could be great. But uh, judging from the track record so far. Probably not a true choice, although I guess if we've gotten so many bad pills uh, identified so far, maybe we're more likely to find a good pill. That seems not fallacious to me at first blush, but perhaps, you know, I, I, I don't know much about uh, fallacies or fellatio, so you know, either definition of non-fallacious, I'm probably not the, the source you want to be using there. So Ares is at least good for the speed upgrade. We did have a speed downgrade from a pill, so uh, a small speed upgrade should counter it, or maybe even uh, more than counter it. I'm just going to save my Book of Shadows, or Book of Secrets charge for the next floor. I might as well take the cartridge. It's like the most weirdly underwhelming Brimstone run I've ever had. I'm like, yeah, I got Brimstone Abaddon, but whatever. I went to the deal with the devil, they gave me two good items. I was like, yeah, whatever. Cause this is my the binding of Oz, whatever. Doesn't know. Ooh, speed and damage up from growth hormones, so we're getting closer to spun. Which is great. We don't need the damage, we don't even really need the tears, but we'll see how it shakes out. I was worried about getting an arcade on a floor I couldn't have even gotten an arcade on. That's how you know. You know, there's a little bit of Isaac Rust that comes off. You know, maybe you can relate to this because, uh, depending on when this video goes out, many of you will probably be, uh, if you're, if you're of the proper age, to either be a, uh, a student or a teacher, which, I mean, given the range of ages that could be teachers or students, literally covers pretty much everything from 3 until 300, including, you know, the God King himself, Xerxes. But, um, apart from that... You might be going back from summer vacation right now, and your teacher's like, Hey, what's the... What's, uh... How many, uh... Atoms are in a mole? And then you're like, Ah, oh, shit. I knew this when I was younger, and ergo, probably a little dumber. Now I'm older, and ergo, probably a little smarter, and I don't remember. You gotta be, oh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, obviously. 
kids. <laughs> Don't even know Avogadro's number. Off the top of their head. But you know, if you ever become a chemist, you're gonna need to know Avogadro's number off the top of your head because there won't be a calculator in your office. The calculator is a mathematical machine the size of a... The size of a bedroom, you know? Not every university has that kind of technology available. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of proving the point that I don't want to prove here. Everyone's always like, yo, why math teachers always gotta be like, there's no cal- you're not gonna have a calculator in your real life, so you gotta learn how to do this. How about, learn how to do, like, basic multiplication and addition, subtraction, and, and division in your head, so that when you have to leave, like, a 15% tip at a restaurant, you don't have to pull out your cell phone and be like, I'm sorry. It's valuable, you know? It's not just- I- I- oh, Monstro's Lung Brimstone's kinda cool, but- I hate when people are like, you know, they, they try to justify like why you should learn how to do math in your head and they go like, well, if technology ever fails, you know what, like, fuck that! It's still valuable even if technology never fails. Like, e even if a, you know, errant uh, solar flare doesn't wipe out all of our electronics overnight, I still think there's value in knowing how to do like up to the 20 times tables in your head. Or at least with a piece of paper and, you know, given a little bit more time. Doesn't have to require an apocalypse, you know. Let's let's set our standards a little higher than that. Why would I learn this? This would only be useful if the world as we knew it ended. You know, it's skills are valuable, man. It's not like we're doing anything else more valuable with our time. Get a little better at League of Legends or something like that. Who cares, man? Learn how to learn how to do anything except curse of writing. Curse of writing is dumb. Hey, let's spend like a ton of our. Uh, primary school curriculum on making our printing harder to read but slightly faster but also still slower than typing. Okay. Necropolis won 10 minutes. Looking good on everything except, uh, you know, we're not like lights out on HP yet, but let's be real. We got Brimstone, so... It's a good situation. We're about three minutes ahead of schedule. We've had Brimstone for a while, so I don't expect to get three minutes or more than three minutes ahead of schedule. I d also don't really expect to do boss rush, but we'll see. If we get a teleport card, we will, but I don't think Algiz is worth it. Magician actually might be more valuable uh, than Algiz with Monstro's Lung. It's doing some cool stuff here, so we'll remember that for the future. Magician cards may show up again. Luck up, no, but lots of money. There must have been a nickel hidden in there. We got more money than I expected there. Didn't, did we, didn't we? I thought we did. Honestly, uh, the, it seems like we've played okay, but we've actually been a little bit like deceptively lucky on this run that uh, there's been a lot of spirit hearts, and in this case black hearts as well, that show up in situations where they're not guaranteed. Like we got that deal with the devil teleportation we probably did not deserve, you know, we just got it from a random red chest. And then curse rooms have been paying out with spirit hearts, you know, that, that has in many ways made the difference right now, that has made this a very... Um, defensible run, you know, we're not in a dangerous place at all. And we could probably afford to skip like every item room and shop and, you know, anything that could possibly provide you as a viewer with happiness and excitement uh, for the rest of the run, but I'm not gonna do that, you know, for a couple of reasons. One of which is that I would love to get some more cool synergies. The other one is like, you know, it's not like I'm on a tight timeline or something like that. That was bullshit. You collided, you should be moving around in a different direction. Give me Krampus. Alright, this is not Krampus. Give me a Spirit Heart. This is not a Spirit Heart. Is it to a Spades? We'll pop that. Speed down, probably not gonna pop that is my guess, because it uh, makes me feel bad. Makes me wanna cry, makes me wanna die. I love you, 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 night man. I don't think we went to our second secret room yet. Um. But then, you know, I'm like, well, thanks for the spirit hearts. And I mean that, thanks for the spirit hearts. At the same time, where the heck are my red hearts? We haven't had like a single, uh, a single upgrade in the HP department the whole game. And we're lucky enough that that hasn't mattered too much, but at the same time, it would be nice to maybe, you know, feel wanted there. I think uh, Cursed Eye actually like does nothing for us. So why risk it at this point? All right, 15 bombs that are poisonous. On the next floor, we'll probably start looking for uh, teleportation cards because Boss Rush, you know, could give us a synergy that we like quite a lot. Karma seems like a better choice for us right now. What are you, the Karma Police or something? I like that. 
very stereotypical, I mean, borderline racist uh, Brooklyn plumber accent that only talks in Radiohead song titles. Hey, you know I sent you that invoice last month. Don't leave me high, don't leave me dry. Hey, I don't like going to Macy's because the clothes are all on these fake plastic... Fake, fake plastic trees. Hey, uh, I tapped three red mana and uh, fiery temper on your accursed witch. Yeah, that's right, burn the witch. Okay, I mean, that's like an intersection between Magic the Gathering and then Irreverence and then also Radiohead's most recent album. It's not like any of these uh, by themselves are that niche, but it's, you know, not much of a market for humor in that arena, I'd say. But considering that it was just improv, you know, like off the top of the dome piece, I think I gives it like an extra one, so that makes it an 11 out of 10 as far as joke quality goes. More like an 11 out of 10 as far as toke quality goes, <laughs> am I right? What is this guy smoking? NL, did you have too many coffees today? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, Key Bum. It's not really like an oh my god item, except to say, like, this run has been real good, but it's real good because of Brimstone, Abaddon, Growth Hormones. There's also an awful lot of, like, well, this item's not useful, this item's not useful. I'm just gonna pop Algiz right here, and it's not that I was, like, hoping for a better rune, it was like, I could pretty easily get hit here. So we got another Algiz, but Perthro is probably more valuable. And I guess we just start making our way to the boss fight. I mean, we got 15, 15 flipping bombs here. Ooh, be, ah! Not smart. 4 HP, oh, excuse me. 4 HP is a little low for the boss rush. Even still, I think. Uh, our shop could change that, but I mean, I don't know what we're looking for to change it. Two keys down here. Several battery charges. I think it actually like provides us with nothing. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking like, you know, what would Bizsnap do? We'd still, you'd still want the, the charges. Don't just leave them on the ground. Although actually I guess you would want to leave them on the ground. Who knows if maybe somehow we could get ourselves into like a D20 or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know, the whole like endless universe thing. It was really brought on because I ate at a Red Robin when I was in America. There is one in Vancouver, but I've never been. But, you know, I was like, well, there's a Denny's, and there's a place called Burgerville. And then there's a place called Red Robin. I'm familiar with Red Robin. I haven't eaten there, but I'm familiar with it. Never heard of Burgerville, but, it, you know, it's almost like a me thinks the lady doth protest too much sort of moment. If you got to say that your place is called Burgerville, I don't think your burgers are as, you know, as vil as you think they are. First things first, I'm the villist. But, um, so I went to Red Robin, it seemed like the best choice out of the three, and then they have like, if you're not familiar, Red Robin's just like an American burger joint, basically. They have bottomless fries, and I was like, I gotta think that at some point, that's like some false advertising. What if you ate like every potato? I should have gone to the deal with the devil first. That's a ro wait. I did go to the deal with the devil first. It was like two rookie mistakes in one. Unicorn stump with Aries. Tech point five, pretty good. Anti grav. Uh, but like I really don't want to spend any time in here. I hate to say it. I'm just gonna go though because it's not like I really want to speed this up. I'm just worried about all the damage that I could possibly take without any means of which to recover it. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, also, like, I mean, here's the thing. Is like. They're only bottomless if I stop eating. If I continue eating forever, we're gonna put that bottomless thing in the test. But I'm not, I'm not an enormous, uh, you know, consumer on a regular basis. I ate, I ate enough fries that, you know, for like two hours afterwards, I was like, kind of, kind of feel like a little sick. I guess we'd still prefer to have the rusted key here. Not, not sick to the point where I was like, I'm gonna throw up, but I was like, man, I ate way too many fries. If she, you should have to like, they'd be like, tell you what, what if we took like $2 off your meal, but we just like, didn't give you the option for endless fries? Because some of the population, and I count myself amongst that, can't be trusted with that level of, you know, control over the fry consumption. You're like, bottomless fries? Hell yeah, dude, that sounds like a challenge. Not a good idea. Eating there negatively impacted, you know, my mood for the, for some of the rest of the night. 
It's not Red Robin's fault, except, you know, that's pretty much what I'm stating here with like 100% certainty is that it is. I just like, I, I feel weird though, because you can't, as, as a, um, you know, as a person on planet Earth, I can't go into a Red Robin and be like, now, I know this sounds weird, but like, no matter what I say, don't let me get more fries. Don't let me get the bottomless fries. That's why I think they should just have an option. And it's like, a su all the substitutions are always positive. You know, they're, or they're always more expensive. It's always like, hey, buck 60, we'll add, uh, we'll give you sweet potato fries instead of regular fries. And you're like, that's cool. I want like a negative substitution that's like, you know what? For 75 cents less, you don't get bottomless fries. That's my ideal, because it saves me from having to be like, Hey, don't give me bottomless fries. And people look at me like, are you passing up a sick sick house deal right here? Why do you hate deals? It's against the spirit of, of our capitalist nature in North America. How about this one? Take another 25 cents off? Don't even serve me in a plate. Just fucking pour that shit right in my hand. I know I ordered French onion soup. Get the blowtorch out, I'm ready. Call that a bargain. The best I ever had. Not the best Roger Daltrey impression, but I will say that do do doom. It's the best I ever had. No! Thank you. You were like a brother to me. This is like the scariest great run of all time. No, I know you might have thought I said the great one, aka Wayne Gretzky, Brantford, Ontario's hockey king, but no, it's I said great run. We're only, like, two hits away from experiencing true peril, and that was one of them right there. And, like, don't let this deceive you. Our run is good, but our stats are shitty. And I mean that sincerely. Now we get the freaking Cramperino here. Alright, um... I- Oh, shit! Uh, I got hit. I almost feel like you just perthrow this. And I- I- I think that could save us if we need to be saved. Um, we're definitely not fighting freaking Hush, I'll tell you that much. Um, but I, I, I felt like we needed to take kind of like a Hail Mary there. And my reasoning was quite simple, is that we're never going to be able to use a uh, lump of coal. Krampus's head could be good, but it also was not Krampus's head, so that made that decision a lot easier, I think. Um, but yeah, like Lump of Coal does nothing for us anymore. It used to be a nice damage bonus with Brimstone, but no longer. Um, so I, I felt like I needed to take something that gave us a better shot at, uh, at the at at the the Keys of the Kingdom here. And at this point, I mean, I feel bad about it because it's Brimstone, right? You're supposed to be like, it's Brimstone. We won already. No HP upgrades and apparently not enough Spirit Hearts for my... Uh, slightly suboptimal playing state right now to handle but it's certainly it's not over like 2 HP is it, it's 10 times better than 1 HP that's what I mean to say I think you blow this guy up and just hope for something surprising you know hope for like a greed fight that then drops something amazing then here one black heart changes everything speed down hematomesis friends till the end I can see forever. I mean, I guess you take hematomesis and then hope maybe you get like a lard or something on the next floor? Certainly speed down doesn't seem like the right choice. Well, this is gonna be interesting. What do we have here? There's probably some creative plays there, but I don't know. I hope I haven't missed too many Tinted Rocks. I'd feel like real shitty if I had missed some Tinted Rocks that could have contributed to this one. Is the state I'm not used to being in at this point? Is the run that gets to Isaac and is like totally still suspect whether it has a chance in heck, you know? But this is the hard wave. Whoa! Okay, that was a dodge that I hope to never have to do again. Stop doing that, Gwam. 
Stop doing Gwim! Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Just keep yourself wedged up here in the corner. Should've, should've stuck it out a little longer there. Because you don't want to give him the chance to move around. We do have the speed necessary to, to bounce around here, though. That's good. One... He, he, as long as you can just avoid that attack, you have nothing to fear. Because one direct hit makes him go away. So it looks like we'll probably get down to the the chest here. And, and e extremely importantly along with that, we're going to get down to the chest without having been hit again. But, you know, the chest is, is also its own nightmare. So, a little scared. Bomb friend, tiny planet. Tiny planet brimstone's kind of interesting. And then Loki's horns. So, like, this is just madness now. And Isaac's Jar of Tears. So, for once, I'm not okay. For once, I'm not okay. It's poetic. Oh, we got the black heart out of it. A Thame in the fucking clutch comes through. Yeah, it's got to be this way. Um, we have, like, a dope synergy. But it's still an incredibly frightening dope synergy. What I was going to say is, for once, I'm not going to take um, the bomb fly. And I almost always take it. Oh, the spirit heart is huge. Thank you so much. And there's going to be people that will watch this and say, Oh, NL got so lucky. You got Brimstone early. You got Abaddon. And I, I think that this is actually... It's hard for me to say this with authority because, you know, I'm, I'm a little out of practice here. But at the same time... This is, like, one of the most deceptively underpowered runs I've had just from HP. From a damage perspective, obviously, like, it's holding it down. And we're gonna finish in, like, 25 minutes. Makes me look like a, a, a real complainer. Uh, let's put it that way. Shouldn't have walked into that. But I sincerely think that this run is a lot worse than it looks like it is. And I'm just, like, not gonna speak for a minute here. Okay, it's all good. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the haters on that one. We won. Um, let's count that as nice victory uh, that scared the shit out of me. That's 18 wins in a row. Nice little adrenaline pump in early afternoon action here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.